by Golden Ticket Fight Promotions, sponsored by the Ace of Vapes and RGA Group. This is a middleweight contest consisting of three three-minute rounds. Referee for this contest, Mr. Neil Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one more time in the blue corner, representing FCBC, an amateur record of four wins and no losses. Ladies and gentlemen, Jake Burr! And his opponent in the red corner, representing fourth dimension in Nottingham. A record of three wins and only one loss. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one more time, Dan Tindall. So we've got a, a middleweight fight here. We've got Dan Tindall, three and one fighting out of fourth dimension MMA, taking on Jake Burke, uh, four and oh, fighting out of FCPC. Uh, I mean, last time we, had, we were here, Dan Osley had an absolutely amazing fight where he just come from behind and was, was stunning. Absolutely, yeah, fantastic finish in that fight. And uh, if you haven't seen it, go and watch it. Check it out on YouTube, because, yeah, like you say, that was one hell of a fight. It was ridiculous. He and was, we get to see him back again. Out. Yeah, I'm sure f he always brings fireworks, doesn't he, Dan? He certainly does, and they're, they're straight into it as well in this uh, in this first 10 seconds, down yeah. with the body lock. Yeah, Tyndall's closed the gap, got him up, uh, got him up against the cage, he's throwing knees. I think he's going to try and sweep those legs and take him down, I think. I think that'll be his plan. Burke's just trying to break the grip, really, and just stop those knees coming in. Yeah, good head position so far from uh, from Dan Tyndall. Just, uh, uh, Burke's got a grip hold of, if you look, he's got a hold of his left hand as well, just to stop him from being able to grab, so it's good, good defensive work there from Burke. Being 4-0, oh, you, you imagine he's going to have, uh, he's obviously got some good experience, he's not just going to, he, he knows what to do and how to defend against positions like this. Absolutely, yeah. Tindall's controlling the position well though, as you say, uh, Burke's got a hold of that, that hand, but he's just let go now and, and it's allowed Tindall to, to yeah. get that body lock and, and, and Tyndall's gripped his hands now, so we'll see if... I think he seems content to just hold him there and throw knees. And I wonder if he'll... I mean, he's in a good position there where he could... Where he, could he could have pulled him, looked like he could have took him down, uh, maybe swept his legs and, and tried to get him down, but he's... Uh, he's, he's Jake Burke has, has, has repositioned himself now. There you Big take down, yeah. Straight right into side cue. control as well. So he's passed the legs straight away, straight into side control. I imagine he'll, he'll throw some punches and see if he can get knee on belly and... Well... Burke's uh, not accepted position. He's, he's certainly he's not. He's, uh, his knees. he's rolled through, but uh, it looks like Tyndall's going to take the back here if he can. I think Burke's going to get back to his feet. Is, is Tyndall going to get a hook in? He's, he's attempting, thought, certainly. He, threw it. he looked like he threw a knee there. But yeah, he, I don't think he's... Yeah, there you go. He's got one hook in. Well, he tried to. He used it more to pull his leg down to stop him from standing. Uh, but yeah, Burke's got back up. G good work by Burke to get back up. Tinder will throw knees now, soften up the legs there and, and uh, just make it a little bit more uncomfortable for him, I think. He's got an interesting there. If he can get him down there, he could, he yeah, could fall into an arm, arm, and, um, arm triangle, head and arm choke, if he can get him down. He's got a good block as well that's got his arm tucked in as well. And yeah, he takes it down. down to the mat. Dominant first round so far from Tindall. He's, um, he's just dominating the positions and, yeah. and not really allowing Burke to, to get any space. I mean, Burke's getting back to his feet well, but Tindall is just sticking to him like glue. Yeah, a lot of control, but I, I wouldn't say a lot of damage. No. Uh, I think the knees probably have been the most talent shots. But again, it, you know, he's winning the round. He's, he's doing enough to win the round, and he's not, letting, he's, not letting, he's not giving Burke any room to do anything. He's grabbing the neck there, and he seems to be reacting to that. He's trying to pull that off. Be very hard, unless unless he jumps and pulls guard, it's going to be very hard to pull anything from there. There's only 10 seconds to go. Yeah, I don't think, think we're going to have time for any kind of nothing. No. submission attempts at the end of this round. But again, if he took him down there, he'd fall straight into an arm triangle choke. You've got to say, he's got to look out for that because that's a really bad position to be in with his arm over like that. Because if he does go down, he's literally he's setting literally himself, set himself up. straight for that arm triangle, like you say. Good first round from Dan Tindall. As you say, no real damage landed. The knees were the, the main shots, but he, he controlled it throughout. He controlled where the fight went. He controlled his opponent up against the fence. Jake Burke did well to get back to his feet, but uh, he really needs to separate and, and, and try and throw some strikes himself. Yeah, there was no there was no offence from Jake, was there? It was all it was just all control. I think that round was just about control, really. 
Dan's controlled the round and, and uh, he's done enough to, 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 you know, on the 10-9 system that we use, he's done enough to take that round. He has another round like that and he puts the pressure on Jake where Jake needs to finish then. And when you get a bit desperate, that's when you like to make mistakes. Absolutely, yeah, that's when you leave yourself vulnerable, leave yourself open because you know you've got to finish to, to win the fight. So be interested to see how Jake Burke comes out in the second round. I think he needs, like you say, he needs to, to keep him separate. He needs to not let, he, he let himself be grabbed, I think, far too easy. He needs to make sure that doesn't happen again and, and not, not be up against the cage. Try and take centre and keep moving and, and throwing, out, throwing out those punches and see what he does. Stiff jab to open the round from Tyndall there. Yeah, and a leg kick from Jake as well. And again, he's, wow, interestingly. A nice little the, reversal there. Yeah, and he's gone straight, straight to, to mount. mount for Jake as well. So let's see what he can do from, uh, from full mount because he didn't have any offence in the first round. But Tyndall never got a position as dominant as this. So let's see what Tyndall can do off his back because he, he needs to defend now and move. And let's see what Burke can do because I'm sure Burke's going to be looking for a finish here. He's landed some heavy ground and pan there as well. He's tied an arm off there with his knee. He's released it now. We said at the end of the first round and the start of the second that Jake really needs to come out firing and <laughs> getting into full mount within 30 seconds. You can't get much better than that, really, can you? Besides putting your opponent away. Yeah, that's it's well, yeah. I mean, we thought he want, needed to keep it up, but obviously. He obviously he needs to get on in top position rather than rather than be on the bottom. He, he's, he keeps putting his arm out there. He could be very vulnerable to an arm bar. He stepped over. Is he going to go for some kind of? No, he's gone for the back there. I thought he might have gone for some kind of dart choke. Yeah, it looked like he might be uh, might be attempting it for a second, but he's uh, he's put hooks in he's there. He's, for the, the uh, he's got one hook in. He's got two hooks in. Two hooks in. Pulls him down. Pulls he's got it down. He's and got the hands of the he's got the choke there. That's on. That is on, and that looks tight. He's fighting the hands. He's doing the right thing, Tyndall, but that does look tight. I think that's it now. I don't think he's going to get out of that. Look at that. He's look at that sleep. arch. He's gone. Is he gone? He's, he's gone. To, is it? No, he's still no, moving. No, he's still. How is he still moving? He's and there's the tap. That's a fantastic turnaround by Jake Burke. I mean, the, the very first round, he... Yes, lad! The first struck, round was all Tyndall, It was it? all Tyndall. Tyndall, could, I mean, he didn't do a lot of damage, but he controlled the first round. And it's almost like when he come in in the second round, he knew that Tyndall was going to grab him. He was ready and he reversed him straight away. And then once he was on top, he obviously he, he went for the finish, which is somewhat unfortunately for Tyndall. He never got the opportunity in the, in the first round. He controlled without without making much progress. And here we've got he's gone straight away and he's. It was almost like down. he lured him into a false sense of security in that first round and kind of allowed in those. I wouldn't say dominant positions because he didn't really get into any fantastic positions where he could threaten with ground and pound or a submission, but he kind of let him have those, have those moments up against the fence without really giving anything away. And then within 15 seconds of the, of the second round, he reversed that, that takedown attempt, got straight into the mountain. It was a good night from there. We'll hand that over to our MC now. He's going to announce that make the decision official. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for both of these fighters! <laughs> Referee stopped this contest in the second round to the winner by a rear naked choke in the blue corner, Jake Congratulations. Thank you. I'm standing alongside your winner here, Jake Burke, four and one now. And five and oh. Five and, well, that means our records are wrong. Five and oh now. A tale of two rounds, though. What was said to you after the first round? What did your corner say to you? Uh, stay away from him and keep him on the feet, but when I took him away, when I went to the floor, I felt like I could handle him. Were you surprised at how tenacious he was in the first round? He seemed stuck to you like glue. No, not really, no. Second round, though, as soon as you got that clinch and the takedown, you moved immediately to that rear, and you got the top position. You've got to be pretty pleased with this. Practice what we preach, yeah. <laughs> it's that full contact performance center work ethic. You guys really do like to embrace the grind, don't you? Yeah, man, every day. 
6 and 0 oh next. So when can we expect you in the cage? As soon as ASAP. February 29th. Hopefully. We look forward to seeing it. Congratulations on a dominant second round.